All right, locker nuts, are you ready to get into a locker? Oh my goodness, I am so ready. So if you guys didn't know, like our whole family came down with COVID during the holidays and it was brutal. It was a very, very hard experience for us. It was a couple weeks of being in bed and not really able to do much of anything, including eat, sleep. I mean, it was, it was, it was very, very difficult. Our whole family got it, but the younger kids, their effects were minimal. The older of us, uh, which luckily I was the oldest, my, our parents didn't get it. I had the most severe. Gianna is secondary so um, but we're through it and man it's uh, still building back our strength and everything this is the first time I've been here in literally I think maybe three weeks uh, I know we just put a video out in the last week and I know a lot of people are like oh glad that you're back and healthy but that was actually shot before we came down ill so uh, oh boy that was three weeks ago so anyways I'm excited to be here I mean actually I'm praising God to be here to be quite frank with you uh, it was a, it was a it was a rough go of it it and um, but we're alive and getting stronger every day and uh, what can I say I'm excited all right you guys ready let's get in this locker and you know which one I'm talking about right this is the train locker Okay, here's the locker. Every time we open this door, I bring you guys in here. So hopefully that's not getting boring, but uh, I've got a plan. I've got a plan, actually. I was thinking about it. I want to knock out this, uh, this shelf right here next. I want to work on this area. This right here is obviously some empties, some styrofoam packing peanuts. But this area over here is pretty much already gone through. We went through it quite a bit last time. We knocked out a bunch of stuff up here. We still have a little bit more to go right here. We have to take a look, closer look at this and get to that stuff up there, but we're not going to do that today. And then we got this aisle here. Yeah, it's looking a little bare. <laughs> a little bit bare, but we have a lot of totes here. And the totes, I think these totes got some decent stuff. And then, of course, back here, barely touched, barely touched. I think we pulled a tote out of code three, but barely anything out of here. A lot of military stuff. Um, I've got an idea of what I want to do with that stuff, but that's not going to be in this episode. That's going to be a little bit later. So let's go back to the front up here and uh, start working on here. Right here, I know we've got some empty boxes here. I think those are just for packing. Uh, maybe he was planning on selling some stuff or thought he might need those someday. But let's get to these right here. I want to get to those and those and maybe a little bit of those. Okay, these are empty. We'll put those aside. This one, if I remember correctly, is not empty, but kind of interesting stuff. Maybe maybe stuff for our live auctions. I forget. I think there's a NASA shirt in there. This is almost full. Whoops. <laughs> this is jumping out. This is almost full of packing peanuts. And you know what? I need those at home. We ran out. So I'm going to put those in the van, take them home. Okay. There we go, guys. All right, now to start with, um, this one, as you see, didn't have a lid on it. That means it's gonna be pretty dusty. Also kind of close to the front, so it's gonna be on the dustier side. Luckily, that's what I've been using this paintbrush for to try and knock down a lot of the dirt. All right, to begin with, we got a couple of these containers. This is uh, 26521 Athern, and this one is Intermountain. I know it says intermodal, but here it says intermountain. So 30501-01. Not big money on these, I don't think. Well, this was $27 brand new. And I think they're probably worth around that right now. Not super big money. There's another one that looks the exact same. All right, now, right here, what do we got? Intermountain, again, intermountain. Set of five rail cars. Box is a little beat up. Here's another one. Ooh, these are really dusty. <laughs> 47609 04 and 03. It's got two different ones. They look the same, but they're a little bit different. They probably just have like little different, yes, what is little different numbers on them. And that's gonna um, make it just a little bit unique. There's another one of these. Okay, the only good thing about that is that uh, now I can list one on eBay, quantity three. Another one of those Intermountain boxes, A-Line, uh, three times. 
all right i just pulled all of these out so this is kind of interesting these little tank cars here again there are like very very similar 47802-03 05040205 so got a couple 05s but um most part they are all unique so very interesting uh we'll have to look those up you guys will know before i do all right we'll flash on the screen what the comp is on that and then these also uh intermountain that's interesting right here pinnacle series i don't know what that means but intermountain and again 47050 and you got 07, 11, 09, 12, 8, 10. A whole bunch more that are just like almost the same, but just with unique numbers. So got six of each of those. I'm thinking those are worth at least 30 bucks, but they might be more like 75. I'll have to look them up again. Um, I'll let you guys know, you know, on the screen. Look for those little cha-ching sounds. And uh, there will be a splash screen there to show you how much these are worth. Now, this is cool. This is a little uh, model U-boat submarine, German submarine. U581 by Lee. Huh. See that Lee. I don't think I've seen that brand before. Looks like it might be Japanese. And that's that's a nice find. It's a good little box. Alright, this Volmer uh HO3759. Well, let's see. Oh good, it's taped closed. That's good. Don't have to worry about being complete. It's never been opened. And that's that's nice. I think that's gonna be worth a few bucks. A little Roco train. Roco. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, look at that caboose or something. Look at that, how cute. <laughs> 63204. Alright. Okay, but I'd like this right here. This is some good stuff right here. Marklin. And as we learned from those experts that came out to look at our collection, this right here means that it is a limited edition or a limited series version. Only sold to certain dealers. 43116. Oh yeah, mm. nice. All right, nice little set there. I think that's probably at least a hundred bucks, but I'm taking a swing here, guys. I'm just guessing, really. This could be 200 bucks, it could be 50 bucks. I don't think it's 50 bucks, but it could be 200 bucks. But I'm saying I think it's at least a hundred bucks. All right, here we've got a uh, original invoice. So look at this one, Markland 16150. That is not that, that's too bad. Cause it's a Victoria passenger steamship. It was $2,700. Well, where is that? <laughs> we did actually find this steamship, but I think they, I think it sells for about 800 to 1,000, but maybe that was it. Maybe it was 2,700 brand new. Right here is micro metal kit, medikit, medikit, something that was 2,500 bucks. Wow, here's Marklin for 750 bucks. But these are not the items here. All right, that's interesting. I mean, it's a little confusing, but what else we got? Oh, this is a big box. Taped. Hmm, the box is a little mangled, but it is taped close. So that is brand new. And what do we got here? We got like a shopping center or something. A mall? But I think this could be a few bucks. Kibri, I most of the stuff Kibri we found is not that big money. 9810 is the number there. Alright, we'll look it up. And that's it for that box. Okay, we put all that stuff right back in the box. And now it's going in the van. Going home. Gonna get it listed. Alright, next box. Okay. Don't forget, like, over here was where we found that one bin of brass trains. There may have been two bins, but one bin especially was full of these brass trains. Those brass trains were several hundred to over a thousand each. That was the best tote so far, I think. Okay, what did this say? There's a clue. Let's see. Back container cars? Huh. Let's see. Ooh, Marklin. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I oh, got a little Coca-Cola on here. That's nice. Cross collectability. Eight four five one nine. Mmm, really nice. Yes, that's a nice piece. I think that's worth some money. Comba rail, huh? Four eight zero oh, four two. That's pretty cool too. Hmm. Another one. Same one. Same number. Let's take a peek. See. Yep. Right, another one, 48042. Yes. You guys have probably heard me say a lot of times about how much I like when there's multiples. Because when we're listing on eBay, we list one, photograph it. I usually take the one that has the worst condition box, you know. We list it once, quantity three. Yeah. And this looks like it might be the same. Nope, these are different. LC21007, 21010, Electro Ren. Electro Ren. 
Okay. Oh, the new UPS truck. Look at that. It goes on the flatbed, I think. Viking. Neat. That is really neat. Okay. There's going to be some money in that, too. Yes, there will. There's another UPS truck right there. Oh, and a UPS rail car, too. I like that. You got some cross-collectability there. People who collect UPS stuff would also be potentially interested in that. Okay. There's some Roco. This does look like a couple of the same. Yep. 47540. Hmm. Nice. And I see a lot more Marklin here. This is great. Really, really good. 47885. Mm-hmm. Look at the size of these boxes here. Nice. That's quick. Yeah. It's all like advertising like product. 48046. Nice. That's cool. All right. Now this Marklin stuff here says Marklin Digital. Um, yeah, look and see the different boxes here. 37090. Yeah, that's cool. Really, really cool. And then this other one right here, 37090. Same thing. Two of the same. Hopefully that's some big money right there. Mmm, sure looks like it. Sure looks like it could be. That's fantastic. All right, put them all back in. Put this in the van, we'll go to the next one. And it says trucks. All right, let's see. Ooh, Lilliput, that's good. Lilliput, good. Lilliput, good. $85 new, but I'm not gonna be uh, holding that. It could be a lot more. It is art number L240011. Let's take a peek -see. Oh, that's nice. Wow, it's like uh, tank cars. They're like that gunmetal gray. I love that. Very cool. This is definitely going to be over 85 bucks. That's my guess. I'm thinking more like 120, maybe more. Maybe. Okay. See a lot of acid in there. It's an inner mountain. All right, here's a bunch more of these containers. Yeah, quite a few of these. Look at this. A bunch of them. $25 each on those. I have a bunch of them at home too. There's something a little bit different. 91063 Athern. This is 13 bucks. Maybe what I need to do is I need to uh, go just like consolidate all of these that I have because I haven't really listed the containers. I think I did an auction before. I just auctioned a bunch of them, but maybe I need to uh, start putting these together and try to match up the common ones. This is. Walther's a 20 foot tank container so it's like a little tanker that's uh, like a model to put it together all right I know all this stuff starts to add up but I'm not that impressed with this these are mostly like eight to twenty dollars each I think but these right here this is interesting there's more Athern it's like a semi truck nine two one three two it's this 20 foot container yeah look at them all look at that nine one nine oh one nine one oh four five 91041, 91906, another car, a truck. Okay, here's another intermodal, intermodal or intermountain, another five unit. I think this is a hundred bucks. I've sold some of these already for a hundred bucks. This is interesting. There's a Walther's four pack, but they're not in there. Well, if you remember, we do have these like cases right here. And there's a whole bunch of cars in there. Maybe that's where those are. I'm not sure. Put that aside for now. We will not bring that home because that will not get listed obviously when it's empty. There's another five pack and here's another five pack for the inner mountain. Yeah, all different numbers again. All right, and that'll do it for that box. All right, next, 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 next. Oh, this one's heavy. It says car transporter. Hmm, this one. Look at the dust on that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is super dusty. I feel like I'm painting clean. I'm painting the dirty away. All right, check this out. Yeah. Okay, what is this? AccuReady. Don't remember seeing that brand before. I might be wrong though. There's been so much stuff. So um, this is 99322 Tri-Level Auto Rack. So there's a lot of them. Let me get all these out and put them on the table. Take a look at what we got. 
Okay, here's everything that was in that blue container all laid out on the table. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff here. I'm not sure on values again. So you guys will know, this AccuReady, um, basically every stack is a separate one. So right here we've got three of the same kind, three of the same kind, two, but most of them are just onesies. Yeah, hopefully these are good. 99308, 99221, 99208, 99210, I give you just a few numbers. Then this one right here, AccuRail, same thing, different box. Definitely looks like an older box. Let's see what these ones look like. Ah, okay, so these are kits that you have to assemble. Hmm, interesting, all right. And each of these stacks, again, is uh, the same number. 9395 right here. This one's got one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Four of those, two of those, and one of those over there. Looks like it was $17 brand new, so not big, big money. But these Genesis right here, this Atherin Genesis, right here has got a Ace price, Ace hardware, 50 bucks. So, but it could be 100 bucks now. G4411, got two of those. G4408, got two of those. G4412, and then over here, we got some Walthers. And this is gold line on these three. All different numbers though. 932-24872 on that one. That'll give us at least a baseline of price, but uh, yeah, I don't think any of these are big, big money. Uh, like right here, Just Trains, these ones 27 bucks each. So I don't think any of these are big money, money but probably we got at least, uh, say, 500 bucks right here. Maybe more. All right, next box or bin says vehicles right here. And this one also is pretty heavy, so it's got a lot of stuff in it. Okay, this is good. It is vehicles. Oh, this is fun. I like I like finding vehicles. Man, they're all dusty even though the lid was on here. But check this out, these herpas. This is good stuff. Yeah, got some emergency vehicles here. Nice, herpa. Yeah, I got a lot of these. Herpa brand, truck, truck replica by Promotex. Let's see. I don't see the numbers on them. These are a little bit harder to look up if there's no number. It looks like there used to be a number there and they blacked it out. Uh, these right here. LTM 1045-1, 1045-1, I'm not sure if that is it, weird, okay, there's a number somewhere, I gotta figure out where to find it, and then check these little Ricos out, that's cool, why well, it's getting really rough in here guys, because <laughs> the way the sun's coming in, it always happens at the end of the day, Bowling right here, $5, look at the little trailer, it's a pretty cool little teardrop trailer, I think that's what it's called, and oh these international emergency vehicles i think we've sold some of those in our live auction before if you guys haven't been to our live auction on our youtube channel we do them every monday night uh that is i do them every monday night as long as i don't have covid <laughs> so obviously that's only happened once but um yeah there, there has been an interruption as of late but usually every monday for two over two years now we've done them every monday and it's where we sell some of this great stuff that we find most of this stuff's going on ebay right but some of the stuff like these little cars and stuff we have sold a lot of these in our live auction we'll lot them up into like like 10 or 15 or so and we'll sell them in the live auction Ooh, look at that porsche the bub mobile what that's pretty cool anything with porsche is usually a little bit more expensive uh, but yeah, so anyways, to get back to what I was saying, we do sell a lot of this stuff in our live auctions. This Herpa stuff is really cool. DHL trucks, that's nice. These are little uh, headlights. You can see in there, there's little headlights that you can put in the cars, in these cars, and you can wire them up onto your little set so the headlights will light up. Neat little features. Here's some more lighting right here. I have a big, not a big, but, but a bin full of lighting. All right, we'll just add that when I get home to that bin. Now ah, look at this, Prizer 35022, interesting. I don't think I've seen too many Prizer cars. We've seen a lot of Prizer figurines, but not so many of the cars. Hmm, this is a Marklin right here. Huh, is it missing something? It looks like it's missing something. That'd be a real shame, real shame. Camilla, here's a little um, model of a pulley unit set. There's a lot of random stuff in here. ER models by Bush, a little taxi cab. Oh, there's some models. Mini fighter, Phantom, nice. A couple of them, it's different. So it says vehicles on here, but we have some planes too. We have models, we have die casts, we have resin, it's like everything. Hmm, matchbox collectibles. And the fire truck there, MDFD. That is interesting. Haven't found any matchbox stuff like that in this locker, not yet. Oh, look at this. 
10483. <laughs> a whole bunch of them. Looks like a little policeman? No, fireman? A whole bunch of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. That's cool. Some more prizers here. These are little, little, little tiny guys. Spacemen or something. No, it's gotta be like fire retardation uh, suits or whatever we call it. <laughs> I, guess, I don't know if that's the proper term. A little fireman. Cool. Emergency personnel, I think it is, but I don't know if they're necessarily firemen. Look at all this stuff, you guys. Let's see if there's anything like jumping out at me here of being potentially big money. It's all gonna add up, of course. Exclusive series. Magazine. Oh, it's a Marklin. What's the number on this? No number. These are good right here, these little case tractors. Uh, I think $30, $40 each, maybe $50. What's in here? Hmm. Little model. Mack truck. FDNY. Oh, it's a fire truck. Okay. There's a whole bunch of them in here. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, here's some Del Prado right here. There's a bunch of these Del Prados. We sold some of these in our live auction not too long ago. Those are really neat looking die cast. Man, that's cool. Catherine, 91812, San Francisco. Nice. Oh, here's a code three right here. Fire Department, New York. Those are usually the best selling ones are the New York ones. I don't know. Maybe that's just uh, my imagination, but I think they are. And this is one of 10,000 pieces produced. Pretty cool. How much it was for me? See if it's on there. But he spent only $35 on that. It's interesting. He got a good deal. What's in here? Oh, there's more of these kits. More fire department, New York. Tiller ladder right here. This is a, these are pretty interesting. A whole bunch of them. So there's 14 of these bought at 78, whatever that is right there. <laughs> All right. 14 no wait there's eight of them okay there's eight of them at 78 whatever that is pounds i don't know 624 dollars looks like it was bought in uh bought in germany i think so maybe those are franks i don't know i hope those have got some good resale value though what else we got in here oh cool huh. little roco mini tanks little helicopter 880 is the number some really neat stuff in here oh the good here's some more roco mini tanks like I like that military stuff. It's cool. Mm, what's this? Armor Fast World War II German BMW with sidecar. Nine nine zero one zero. That's pretty cool. Another one. Nine nine zero one one. I mean, it's so funny because like if I had bought one locker and found a bin like this in it, man, I'd be so excited. I'd be so excited. I'd be like, this is awesome. And this is just one bin in this huge locker. That we found so many good treasures. Railway Express Agency Laser Cut 91202. That's $10.75. Oh, look at this. How cool is that? That was 42 bucks. Railroad Crossings. I want to get to this box right here though. Got a lot more mini tank stuff here. I like that. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Auto Scenes, Woodland Scenics, Getaway Gangsters. Look at this. Got a couple policemen firing at the, the bad guy. AS5540. That's really cool. It's gonna take me stinking forever to list all this stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. So in here we got a bunch more mini tanks. 419 it says. 419, these I think are all 419. Great, easy listing. Easy, 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 easy. All right guys, well I don't think we're gonna go through more of this even though I know this is like really interesting stuff. I gotta bring this home and like lay it out on the table and get it all sorted out and start listing it. Okay, next bin. What does that say? Car? I don't even know what that says. Let's find out. Ooh, okay. I don't know what this says, but it's a lot more trains. And these look like a little bit better trains, too. The Inner Mountains we've seen, Atherns we've seen. This uh, Broadway Limited is usually a pretty good value. 59 bucks brand new. Number 535. Yeah, look at these. These are like Zephyrs or something. Santa Fe. Not a Zephyr, but TSP 4820-05. Yeah, a lot. Lots of stuff. This one, I wasn't too far off. There's the Zephyr right here. California Zephyr Broadway Limited. 
Oh, and that one was a Zephyr too. Okay, cool. Boxes are really kind of bent up now. Ooh, this is heavy. 39582 is a Marklin. Yeah. Let's find some more Marklin right here. Marklin. Oh, this looks pretty. 37841. Oh, man. I can swear we've had this one before, but it could just be the black and red pattern. I don't know. That looks expensive, though. What's this? Yeah, Marklin. Mm, 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 mm. 37964. Oh wow, this one is something special. This is in a wood box. I don't know if we found a Marklin in a wood box. And it's got that little icon on there too. It was $343 brand new. Oh man, this is, uh, this looks almost like that George Bush one that we found on like the first day. I think this is gonna be good. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Hopefully that's coming out in the camera here, guys. It is pretty. Wow. It's got so much weight to it, too, just for, you know, the size of it. This, I think, has got to be a brass train. That's fantastic right there. That's a few hundred bucks at least. That's my guess. Okay, more of those Zephyrs there. I'm trying to remember if I sold the Zephyrs. If I, I mean, if I listed them yet. I know we found these before. They might also be in my garage. I got a ton of trains in my garage that are not listed yet. Wow. Oh, and this real kill right here. What's it? Ooh, Spectrum. Nice stuff. Oh, nice. Look at this. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's got that little base that it sits on too for displaying. And this is 44811. This is Platin. Platin. I think that might be for Platinum. I don't know. Maybe this is a special series. A little bit more money. Perhaps. Perhaps. All right, Spectrum, ah, the box is a little smushed right here. That's unfortunate, but this is probably a couple hundred bucks right here. 81949 right there, Acela Express. So yeah, the Spectrum stuff can be pretty good money as well. Brand new shrink wrap like that, awesome. All right, so we're not gonna look through too much of these just because we've been looking at a lot of stuff today. Um, oh, oh, hang on a second. <laughs> look at that, Tri-Rail. How pretty. That one is number 2585. That's kind of cool. That's at least 100 bucks. This one right here, 92314. It's two of those. There's nothing too, ex too exciting about that. Just some money. <laughs> All right, so we got a lot more Intermountain. Got more Athern. Here's another Spectrum right here. Let's take a look at that. That one's actually open. It's number 83005. Oh, wow. Look at that. Very nice, very nice. Pretty cool. Such nice uh, box and presentation and everything. So this was $145 right here, brand new. Looks like you bought a few of them, but there's I think only one in there. Let's take another peek. You only see one. Okay, and there's a more, couple more trains there. Walthers. Ooh, this good right here. Paragon. There's another Broadway Limited. Number 690. Yep, yeah, nice. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> it's nice, what can I say? Okay. Now these look a little different. Oh, Kato's, okay, Kato's. We sell Kato's for like, usually these are about 150 bucks each. It says 209 here, it might be a little bit more. I think these are both identical. Nice. Yeah, okay. That's good, easy list, easy list. All right, guys, that does it for there. Wow, okay. I feel like that's real progress. Up here, I'm getting a little bit tired, to be honest with you. Let me look in these two cardboard boxes right here. We'll save those two for next time. I was worried this might be empty. It's not empty. No sir. Oh, okay. Huh. So, what is this? It's like little people toys, right? Yeah. Okay, and it says right here, castle. All right, castle. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we may have peaked in this one. When we had the experts here helping us look at the trains and stuff, I think we may, they may have climbed up there and looked in this one and told me what it was. But wow, this thing is actually really nice.
<laughs> look at this stuff. Really detailed. 2003 Schleich, Germany. S-C-H-L-E-I-C-H, -E I, I think is what it says. Wow, very high quality stuff. This guy that rides him, I think. Yep, got a lot of little details. Yeah, those guys are really detailed. Look at the little battering ram right here. Drawbridge or something. Hmm, this is, uh, this is interesting. All right, it's pretty funny because that stuff is like realistic and detailed and high quality. And but the first thing I pulled out right here, this is definitely more cartoonish. The little, I think that's the little people. Definitely looks more cartoonish right here. I don't think those go together, but I'll put that back in there for now. What do I do with this? This has got to have some value. I see that's got to be at least a couple hundred bucks, um, just based on the quality of the things. But oh man, I got to figure out how to list that all right let's get in that black one right there it looks like an alienware box the last big black one that we found over here somewhere wound up being empty so let's see what's in there uh-oh this one's empty it's super light dang it yeah right, let's just make sure well i'll tell you for nothing else this stuff right here makes great padding for when i pack stuff and send it you but yeah that wasn't that was an alienware box there's the logo down there yep more void fill but nothing in there bummer all right well that's a bummer okay so we do have these two right here i'm gonna hold off on those still i think those are marklins i think we peeked in there and we had the experts um there was a couple things i wanted to pull out here actually one of our viewers spotted these and wanted to know more about them so let's take a closer look at these brawa nice that looks older it might just be the look of the box though okay let's see all right this does look a little bit older. Paper, everything looks older. So what is this? Some sort of a transfer station or a transfer table. It says right here, Brawa 1180 transfer. All right, that's kind of neat. We'll put that in the car. This one also looks kind of older, this Fleischmann. And it's got a price tag of 235. This box is extremely light. I don't know if it's gonna be in here. It's also extremely dirty. No, it's not in here. There's parts to it, but the actual, uh, what do you call it? A round table? I forget what this is called. It's not in here. That's unfortunate. Okay. Put that up there. I put the empties up there. Those are all empty boxes. Maybe if we find the piece somewhere else, we can still uh, use the box. But here's, here's another one. Turntable, that's what it's called. Turntable. This one's also kind of like... Kind of like, no, this one's in here though. Okay, yeah, we're in business. This one's in here and that is brand spanking new. Cornerstone Walters. We have one, I think it's Marklin that I already brought home and that one retails for like in the high 400s brand new. So this one also brand new, but not as high end as Marklin, I would think. And then the Brawa, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I still want to keep going here. I don't know, maybe I'm just a, a little bit nuts, guys. A little bit nuts. I want to keep going. I'm definitely feeling a little tired. Still not fully, like, my energy is not 100%. Still recovering from the COVID. But, yeah, this is a good one to pick up because we got vehicles. We can match them up with the other vehicles that we got. And a little bush car. Rico, ooh, Lamborghini. Nice. Oh, Woodland Scenics. Look at this one with the little milkman. Ooh, Shuko Mercedes Benz. Nice. Okay. There's a little car in here too. All right, I won't spend too much time on those. Landing gear for Hogan Wings models. That's neat. Okay. Nothing too exciting there. Eh? All right. Grab the next one. Okay. Oh, okay. Look at this. This has got more of these little Tamiya models. They're like of engines. Universal gearbox. Landing gear, more of this like miscellaneous parts and stuff. Hmm, can't see that. Ooh, look at this. Police Southern Pacific, that's a police badge. Police for Amtrak, that's neat. Little uh, light posts and stuff. There's more of the little lights to go on something. Oh, code three. All right, what's this? Nice, another fire truck, really nice. Yeah, Los Angeles County. This is 12670. 
very nice. Right, I'm just gonna consolidate these two boxes because they had a lot of similar stuff in them. All right, let's grab this last box right here, and I think we'll be on our way. Sound good, you guys? Hmm. Okay, that, well, this one was open, so we got the little dust problem. Oh, a lot of uh, little woodland scenics, guys. See? I don't think I've been listing these. I think I've just been uh, putting them in a uh, bin, and at the end, I'll just try to, you know, organize them and sort them out, you know, try to match up all the commons and then start listing them. Even at 10 bucks each, these things are gonna add up. All right, here's another little gingerbread house. We've had these models before too. Pretty cool. What else we got in here? Oh, look at this. Little tiny guys. Wow. Kato, super small. Okay, there's a couple of those. And that's like twine or something for your set building. That's what I think it is. Brawa 5445HO. Oh, a lamp post or something. Neat. Woodland Scenics. And look at this. Got a lot of stuff here. Wow. And then here's more prizers, the little tiny, tiny guys. Oh, these are N scale. Little guys. And look at this. <laughs> Merton. Haven't heard of that before. All right. A bunch more Woodland Scenics. I have a couple of these at home already. I know we have multiples of those. Uh, look at these prizers. Miniature figurines. I guess you're supposed to paint them yourself. Some military ones. I have a bunch of these too, I think. Whoa. Artista accessories. How much of those guys? All right, well, anyways, there's another box. Probably a couple few hundred bucks right there. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, yeah, we made some progress. Every time I come, I make some progress, carving out little sections and uh, going through it. I appreciate you guys watching the videos and going through it with me. I hope you're having fun. I am having fun. And like I said, it's been a few weeks since I've been here, so uh, that was especially fun for me. So I just counted in the van. It looks like I've got about seven totes, and some of those totes are quite large. Uh, most of them are full, some of them almost full, but that's a lot of stuff I'm bringing home, okay? And it takes a long time to list the stuff. Really, the bottleneck is the listing. Going through it, filming it, editing it, that does take time, obviously, but the listing, it takes all an incredible long time. But you know, for the past week, all I've been doing really is listing because I did not feel up to coming here. I didn't feel up to being on camera. I still don't have like 100% of my energy. My voice still is kind of shot too. I don't know why that is, but uh, anyways, I have a lot, just what I'm bringing home, just what we went through today, I probably have literally two or three days of listing at least. But right now, um, I'm probably gonna go home and do that because it is starting to pay off. This is January. We're not in fourth quarter anymore. We're in January and typically eBay sales slow and I did see sales slow but this past week because I've been listing so much stuff we're seeing sales spike up again. Yesterday we sold over a thousand dollars on eBay and just this morning I've sold five hundred and seventy five dollars uh, before I even got up so sales are definitely coming in. Right now we have about 80, well it was 81,000 when I went to bed last night. It was $81,000 worth of merchandise listed on our eBay store. But of course we sold some this morning so it's it's a little over 80,000 listed. What do you guys think that I just took home? Now I, I, it's hard for me to know because prices are, I only see some of the prices. I know I'm flashing on the screen, you guys have seen it. I think we're gonna have a $10,000 worth of stuff bringing home. Maybe it's much, much more. Some of those Markland stuff adds up very quickly because big ticket stuff. And then some of the smaller vehicles and stuff at 10 20 30 dollars a pop those add up too because there's hundreds of them but anyways um yeah i'm gonna bring this stuff home get the listing and that means probably we're gonna get selling uh sales are running and i'm gonna update you at the end of this video as to our total for this locker it's a little bit higher than the last time i updated you even though it's only been like a week because uh like i said we've just been selling like crazy so that's great right great 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 but we have a lot more to list we have a lot more to sell and we still have a lot more to go through in this locker we'll do that next time all right well maybe maybe next time we're gonna do something different i don't know but we'll do this very soon okay until then good luck to you God bless you, and we'll see you next time here on Lockin' Nuts.
All right, guys, here's the update. We have now sold over $39,000 from this locker. That includes our live auction and our eBay. And like I said, we've got a, around 80,000 in merchandise listed on eBay. Not all of that's from this locker, but I think probably about 60,000 is from this locker. Those are sales that'll come in in future dates, and we have a ton of stuff still in the list.